What if we told you that out of all the people that you could think of, it is actually President Joe Biden who fits the tag of a white supremacist? A lot of people don't know how to register. Not everybody in the community, the Hispanic and the African American community, particularly in uh, uh, rural areas that are distant and or inner city districts, know how to use, know how to get a line to determine how to get in line. That's right. Joe Biden's disgusting and condescending approach towards black Americans needs to be called out. His white savior syndrome needs to be called out. And his plan to exploit African Americans for electoral gains only needs to be called out. Hi and welcome to TFI Global. I'm your host Shubhangi. And in this video, I shall talk to you about the condescending Joe Biden who has nothing but an insulting and belittling approach towards black Americans. Let's begin. As it turns out, although the phraseology might differ from person to person, Joe Biden indeed does not seem to be seeing black Americans as equal citizens. He seems to be harboring a preconceived notion of blacks, in fact, being poor, uneducated and backward people, not to mention victims of eternal and systemic racism in the United States that will forever need help from the state and especially the help of the condescending white liberal without whom the black community cannot survive. However, in the past, President Biden has himself been a part of driving racist policies to glory. The fact that the man authored a 1994 crime law that resulted in the mass incarceration of black and brown Americans is merely the tip of the iceberg. In fact, Joe Biden has a rather flagrant history of being a racist and now he is acting like a condescending, pitiful, white saviour of the black people. But before that, let's talk about the 1994 crime law. So much for the Democrats' wish of reforming the criminal justice system and prisons of America. In 1994, it was Joe Biden who made sweeping changes to the criminal system with the 1994 crime law, resulting in mass incarcerations, mostly of blacks and persons of color, and also the construction of a large quantum of prisons. Apart from getting the prisons saturated, the Biden-authored law also mandated tougher federal sentences and gave sweeping powers to the police to carry out raids. Today, Joe Biden may act like a different man, but he really isn't. The new Georgia voting law has brought to light the levels to which the Democrats, like Joe Biden, have stereotyped black Americans. The new Georgia election law? It's an atrocity. The idea, if you want any indication that it has nothing to do with fairness, nothing to do with decency, the core of Democrat opposition to the Georgia law is that a majority of blacks, according to the Blue Party, do not have voter IDs and are incapable of acquiring them because, you know, they're black. This is a disgusting and flawed premise. In fact, as reported by TFI, it is a blithering lie. Close to 70% of black Americans have been found to support laws that mandate IDs for the purpose of voting. The law which requires online voter registration is also being attacked by Joe Biden because he thinks blacks are technically handicapped and do not know how to use the digital medium. In the Hispanic and the African American community, particularly in uh, uh, rural areas that are distant and or inner city districts, know how to use, know how to get online. Joe Biden has a rather illustrious career in being a racial bigot. Him having a childhood friend who happens to be a black American has been used by pliant American media networks to cover up for Biden's racism and his white savior syndrome. However, the reality is that Joe Biden views blacks as lesser beings who need to be saved by nice and kind white liberals. No less than former President Barack Obama has been a victim of Biden's condescendingly racist tone in 2008. Referring to presidential probable Obama, Biden said, I mean, you got the first mainstream African American who is articulate and bright and clean and a nice looking guy. Notice the words articulate and bright and clean and nice looking. One would have thought that over the years, Joe Biden would have transformed as a man. However, his inherent pity and condescension for the black community seems to persist even as he pretends to be the white messiah tasked with alleviating the woes of all blacks in America. Biden's agenda is not empowering the community but using its weaknesses for electoral gains. 
For this, the Biden brand of politics intends to maintain the minority's victimhood complex till eternity. He doesn't plan to empower them anytime soon.